Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Pikmin. It's me, Cooper, and today we are going to the Forest Naval. And what we will find in the Forest Naval, I don't know. But what we will do in the Forest Naval is find things. Uh, that, was, that was one of the stupidest things I've ever said, but whatever. <laughs> Let's go into the Naval and see if our Pikmin can help us out here. So, we have a lot of yellow Pikmin, a lot of red Pikmin, and uh, we're going to need both. Because I feel like both of them are very vital. Red for the battles, yellow for the rocks. And as you, as you can see, there's already walls that the rocks need to destroy. So let's bring about 35 of you guys. And just, yeah, just real quick. Just come, come on, come on, I need you. And then let's bring about... Uh... 35 of you guys. Because combat-wise, you only need about 30 Pikmin for even the hardest of battles. And then, you know, well, 30 reds. Let me be very specific about that. 30 reds. They're the ones that put in the damage. They're the ones that put in the work. So, first thing we can do is we can destroy this thing. And uh, it's very quick to open up. And then once you do that, you can use that to get back up very quickly. We're going to need these bridges down. So destroy these bridges. Or put, put down the bridges. That's why you bring your Pikmin, guys. Bring your Pikmin. Oh, look, another one of these rock thingies. Oh, I hate these creatures. Come here. Come here, you piece of crap. Yeah, you think I won't fight you? Ah, damn it. Yeah, they can try pushing you back and it hurts. But as you can see, Olimar does do damage. It's a very small amount of damage and it takes a long time for it to build up. But on weaker enemies, this is a tank enemy. On non-tank enemies, weaker enemies, uh, he does a ton of damage. Sorry, I didn't mean to call them. I thought they were done. Come here. Yeah, you think I didn't see you? <laughs> I'm not afraid of you. I'll kill you faster than you'd ever believe. Alright, so... This is dangerous, so I'm going to do this. All of my Pikmin destroy these. So these creatures are interesting creatures. They are the flamethrowers. Come here. No, no, no. Aim at me. Aim at me. Aim at me. Aim at me, you piece of crap. Aim at me. Aim at me. Alright, as you can see, the bridge is protecting our Pikmin from the flamethrower. I don't know for how much longer, though. Once the bridge is complete, it's not really going to do its job. Alright. When it does that, it's trying to knock you off of it, and it could hurt you by doing that, so you gotta be careful. My Pikmin are almost done doing their job, but this creature does not seem to care about me at all. I'm not even fireproof, it just doesn't care. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna run. Oh god, stop picking on the grass, please. Oh look, it's one of these guys. These guys will distract your Pikmin if you can uh, get a Pikmin to land directly on its back. I believe you get pellets and stuff, so that could be useful. You know what, yeah, why don't you, why don't you pull out all the grass so we don't have this problem later on? Now that is nectar, everybody. You want your Pikmin to drink the nectar. Because once they drink the nectar, they become flower Pikmin. Another intriguing discovery. A local variety of grass produces a yellow nectar to make uh, Pikmin into flower Pikmin. So they skip the bud stage. They go straight to flower. It's very helpful. Alright, my 70 Pikmin. Let's, uh... Let's start looking around. See if we can find anything useful. Oh god, I hate this enemy type. These enemies are annoying because they will fly away once you start killing them. And then if they fly away, you have to- Oh, that one got one. That one got one. Because it'll take- it doesn't take damage till after. If they try to fly away, you gotta kill them. Alright. Where are you Pikmin going? Alright, where were you guys even gonna go? <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. We found something interesting. You guys just chill here. All 69 of you. Haha, <laughs> that's why I brought 70. <laughs> And look at this, guys, our final type of Pikmin. And yes, I mean final. The blue Pikmin. So, let's wait for them to sprout, and then let's see what they are. Alright, while we wait, we can destroy this uh, flower. Yep, I got some, uh, yeah, look at that. Almar's got some muscle in his punches. This is what a blue Pikmin looks like. And as you can see, they can swim or breathe underwater. Bre breathe underwater is the better idea. They can breathe underwater. It is a Pikmin of yet another color. Near this one's cheeks is what appears to be a set of gills. This trait suggests to me that this blue type of Pikmin can enter the water without any trouble. There's no way to find- oh well, there's one way to find out. It's already in water, Olimar. You are a very weird scientist guy. Well, you're not- you're not even an explorer. You're like a delivery man, so I guess that makes sense. Alright, you're a delivery man. You're not supposed to be an explorer. Let me just destroy these. We're gonna need blue Pikmin for sure. Blue Pikmin are one of the most useful types in the game. Yellow Pikmin for the bomb rocks, blue Pikmin for the water. Just, they can go in water. That's super important. And then, of course, you have your other types red, which are great for battle and you will always want for a battle. Wow. It was right there. It was right there. It should have been able to get it. Okay. Uh, you guys, there's, like, there's one right there. Just grab it. And there's two right there. So one for you and one for you. 
And then you come with me. Just just get on that one for now. Now, I, it sucks that I left my all my other Pikmin out there, but that's what they're going to be doing for a bit. Because I got to collect this stuff. Uh, I got to start building up the blue Pikmin uh, society. They need to keep up with uh, their brethren. Okay. And then... Four. There we go. And then I'm going to go over here with my two blocks. You know, let me wait for all of them. So, you guys... You only- uh, the sad part is, since the onion right now is underwater, you can't have any of your Pikmin help these Pikmin. So the blue Pikmin are kind of on their own, on their first day, until you end the day, which I could just do, but we, we, we're on a time limit, so screw that. Hey look, there's a part up there. Nice. Uh, so what we're gonna do with our extra time is we're gonna grab every single creature possible. Because we did kill a lot, and they drop pellets when you kill them, which is handy. Uh, that pellet is like right in front of you, buddy. There we go. And what we're going to do now is ignore all these guys. Yellow Pikmin, for the love of God, do not help them. Oh, the Yellow Pikmin are trying to help them. Yep, they're going to drown. Yep. 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 This is what happens, guys. This is what happens. Hey! Hey! Did you not watch your friends? They all drowned. Right in front of me. Uh-huh, we already know this. Thank you. That's not another discovery. We figured that out a different day. Okay, so let's grab all of our Pikmin, not the yellow one. I don't know why that yellow one... No, yellow. Come here. Come here. Come here. I need red Pikmin for this. You have to understand something. I can't have a yellow Pikmin for this. If I have a yellow Pikmin, they're going to die. Because these guys will shoot fire at them. And the red Pikmin have a secondary ability. They are immune to fire. They are 100% immune to fire. This creature ha cannot kill a Pikmin. It has no possibility. It can knock a Pikmin off and do damage to a Pikmin, but it cannot kill a Pikmin. Alright, these guys are annoying as hell. Do you see how it's trying to take that part? You need to knock them on the top of the head to stop them from taking the part. Now, another thing you can do instead of this is beat them. If, uh, if, if you can get them to... Like, you see this, how they built out the part? They're, that's gonna kill my Pikmin. Because if he gets back to his home with the Pikmin grabbing the part, they're dead. But if we get two Pikmin to grab the part, watch this. Or not part, but the thing. Okay, it's impossible. Okay, just stop. Just stop. Let him have it. Let him have it. I actually don't care if he has it. Because our job today is to kill all these red guys. All these guys. Yeah. I'm still... I'm not immune to fire, so I have to dodge the fire. But my Pikmin can do whatever they want. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to leave you guys to, to it. Go ahead and kill that guy. You don't need me to uh, babysit you for this one. You guys too, just just kill them. You don't need me to babysit you. Although, you know, when you're not helping your family, that's really messed up. Didn't you watch The Fast and Furious? Everything's about family. Alright, here we go. You know what, I'm just gonna leave you guys here, kill them. I trust you guys to kill them. And then while I trust them to kill them, I'm gonna go get the blue Pikmin. Because the blue Pikmin need to increase their, uh, their numbers. Well, I mean, they already did. They're, yeah, they're actually set. Wow, we already got some Bud Pikmin, nice. I guess I've been out here longer than I thought. It doesn't take that long to get Bud Pikmin, but if you want a Flower Pikmin, you gotta wait. Oh, we just saw one tra- Look at they're transforming into Buds as we speak. You can kind of see it happen. Cool. I'm not so uh, anal about getting Bud Pikmin, even though they're my favorite, that I'm gonna wait. Because time is everything in this game. And yeah, I, I like to take my time doing other things. So I have to be very uh, quick on uh, collecting stuff. So Pikmin, come here. Oh, why didn't I just assume you guys were going to do that? That's true. That was that was dumb of me. They're taking the prey for themselves, and they kind of deserve it, so I'm not going to stop them. All right, uh, grab it, grab it, grab it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, if the Red Pikmin want to take it, the Red Pikmin can take it. I don't care. They've earned it. I just realized that these Pikmin are going to die, because they're going to try and help the... Yeah, they're going to try and help the Blues. No, you don't. Come here. Come here. All of you are in the worst place possible. Come all the way over here. All the way over here. Stand right there. Blue Pikmin, you gotta do this by yourself. Yellow, what did I just say? Come here. I, I, your heart's in the right place, but you're doing the wrong thing. Alright, now you. Come here. I mean you. I got a job for you. Go up there and work on that thing. And you know what? I'll give that job to all of you. Come here. You're all my children, and I'm going to help you all get to work. See this thing right here? This leads to a part. So I need you to build a path to this part. Can you do that for me? Thank you. 
All right, so my Pikmin are doing good. They're doing very- Ah, ready! Red, 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 bad, bad red. Get over there. You're gonna die. What are you thinking? All right, good. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and collect. All of our pi- Well, no. Actually, let's go on a journey with the water- or The blue Pikmin. So, blue Pikmin, I have a journey for you. Come on. 26 of you? That's a good number. Hey, look! They got the part. Very good. Uh, there's some blue Pikmin mixed in here, so I'm gonna- Grab them real quick. And anyone that's not a blue Pikmin, come here. Come here. Come here. I got you. Got to go around or that Pikmin will get stuck down there. You never, you never know. Well, I know. I've had it happen to me before. Uh, you guys, because I'm worried about you, why don't you go back to base for now? As long as they're in base, they, it doesn't matter if the time runs out. You, you see how it gets stuck? Very easy. Yeah, get over there. All right, they're safe. Blue Pikmin, let's go on a little journey. You and me. Because you got... What did I just say? Yellow Pikmin... What did I just say? Alright, where are you? C come here. Come on. You're a flower Pikmin, right? Get to the far front of the pack. There we go, I grabbed him. Yeah, it's kind of, You have to kind of like snag him. Let's go over here, blue Pikmin. And let's see if we can uh, do some stuff. Look at that, there's a part here. Alright, I found my number one I Ionium Jet. Unfortunately, this puts a slightly odor odoriferous exhaust so it smells bad but it does propel me to escape velocity in an instant the stench is a small price to pay for such performance good point why do all of your parts seem to have like a bad side to them you would think like car parts or ship parts would only be beneficial i mean you're in you're, you have space travel in your time so like why why is it not beneficial Ooh, is that a wall we can destroy that's a wall we can destroy hey pikmin i have a job for you it takes a while for those Pikmin to go walk all the way around, too. So I guess destroying this wall will be very beneficial to us. Uh, automatic gear. It has thin cracks running through it. It tried to f I tried to fill it with dirt. I hope it will be alright. So in other words, that was probably a useless part. And yes, useless parts do exist in this game. Uh, let's go ahead and... You guys start working on the wall. Can I call you guys from here? I'm barely out of range. Okay. Ah! No! I hit the geyser. That's what we unlocked earlier. The geyser. Hey, you guys, come here. We need help on a wall. Yeah. It's gonna take a lot of you, so get to work. Yeah, work on this wall here. You know what? It'll be faster. You, you, you guys, instead of walking all the way around, help them with the wall. Alright, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna check real quick to see if I left any Pikmin behind. I did leave a lot behind, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna go deal with that. Why don't you guys deal with this? I'll be back to uh, grab you guys. Yeah, remember the red Pikmin that we're battling? Yeah, they still are out there. So, we've destroyed, we've created a lot of bridges today. We're creating a wall and we got a few parts. That's the good news. Bad news is, I might leave some Pikmin behind if I'm not careful. So, let's be careful. Hey, there's that one ready. But where's the other readies? There they are. Okay. Okay, is that all of them? No, no one else is left alone out there? Yep, everyone seems to be back at base, so we're good. Lots of parts just in the open here. Ah, that bread bug. It ju just kind of disappeared there. I saw it for a second, then it just disappeared. That was weird. That was really weird. Uh, do you guys have the ability to use this geyser? Nope, that's an Olimar only ability. Okay. Well, then you guys just go back to base. And I'm going over here. Let's see how they're doing on that wall. Probably pretty good by this point. Do you guys need help or you, you got it? You got it. You don't need any help. Yeah, just watch her. Here, I'll help. I don't think this helps at all. I'm doing it anyway. You can tell the difference in speed by this. Like, look at the leaf Pikmin, how slow they hit. The bud Pikmin, how a little hit, hit a little bit faster. It's, it's, it's pretty interesting to see the difference in speed. There we go. Alright, now you guys grab this part and go, because the day is about to end. Now, honestly, hit get everybody on that part. Because you guys got to walk around for a bit. All right, that was it, guys. We got blue Pikmin today. We got a few parts today. I wasn't even, I was, I wasn't even planning to get parts. I was just like, hey, let's get Pikmin, let's raise their numbers, and let's destroy some walls and stuff. Didn't destroy the walls actually. I just destroyed one. I was thinking of destroying more, personally. And that's 25. We got everyone. Yay! I hope they can make it back in time. The 10 second timer. Yeah, they can make it. They can make it. There we go, buddies. And we got it. 
So, what does this part actually do? Like, I know it's propulsion and whatnot. Ooh, it appears on the side of the ship. So, yep, number one, if this is... If, wait, if this is damage, I'll be in a dire straits. I'll have to run a system check as soon as I can. I have now eight out of 30 parts. Four more, and I can increase my ship's capabilities. Nice. So, normally, I could let the 10 seconds run, or I could just go to sunset. We're gonna go to sunset. Come on. I'm not here to use my time perfectly. Oh, look, you can see the blue onion in the background. That's kind of cool. Yeah, this is what 100 Pikmin look like. Oh, yeah, look at all those Pikmin have to run all the way over to that blue onion. So weird. <laughs> they have to go all the way around. Can we see them walking around? Or is it too dark? It might be too dark. Yeah, once it gets nighttime in this area, there's no electricity, so it's dark as hell. Like, this part, it's not that dark, but you can see, look, without the ship around, it gets dark. Oh! That's a scary creature. I think that's a Wallywog. Maybe. There's there's two types, so I, I don't know. Five days. Deep in the cave I discovered in the forest, I encountered blue Pikmin. These blue fellows have something resembling gills on their cheeks, and they appear to be amphibious. Surviving both in water and on land, the wonders of the nature can never cease to stun, to stun me, even in this alien land. Honestly, this alien world is really cool. We only lost three to battle. That's not bad. Although, I think the three to battle was actually we lost them to drowning. Yep, drowning. And one, one to battle, two to drowning. So that's kind of interesting. But we have 22 parts remaining and 25 days left. So we're doing really good because we're ahead. But uh, next time we're going to be going back to this area and we're going to collect way more parts than we did this time. Way more. Because we could have collected way more. So we will. Alright, Bye bye